I'm out here at the Crystal Springs Rhododendron Gardens. I'm with Brandon. Brandon, the gardens are stunning right now. This is rhododendron time. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a great time to come out to the garden. Uh, Crystal Springs, every spring, it just erupts into a, a, cor a chorus of color. Uh, and everybody, I think all ages enjoy seeing the different sizes and shapes and, and colors of blooms. It's a great time to be here. Right. And rhododendrons are one of those, you know, there are so many different varieties and types. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. I mean, so whatever, if, if you're looking for a solution in your garden, uh, there's a rhododendron for that. There's tree form rhodes that, that get up to be in their old age up to 30 feet tall. Uh, and there are small ground cover rhododendrons uh, that, that most people don't really know about because they don't, they don't see them in a lot of garden settings. Uh, but there's really a roadie for every every situation, every everything you're looking for in your garden. And a rainbow of colors. I mean, Absolutely. The, the color, I mean, for instance, you know, what, the yeah. one behind us here. Yeah, Horizon Monarch here, it's a hybrid rhododendron. Uh, most of the rhododendrons here at Crystal Springs are hybrids. It was developed as a, a test garden for hybrid rhododendrons. Uh, didn't quite work out for that. It wasn't quite the perfect situation for that. Uh, but so it... Uh, eventually became what we can now call a display garden, a woodland yeah. display garden where we showcase, you know, over 500 different varieties of hybrid and species rhododendron, uh, as well as many beautiful companion plants. Yeah. yeah, and the rhododendron gardens are open to the public. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We're a public garden, so the property is a Portland Parks property. We operate the, the garden on behalf of the city. Uh, that's the Portland chapter of the American Rhododendron okay. Society. And uh, we've been doing this here for 72 years. 1950 is wow. when the garden was founded. And uh, it's, yeah, it's a great place to come. We're open 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. most days. Uh, okay. Wednesdays, we open late at 1. We have intensive volunteer gardening on Wednesday mornings. If people are interested, we're always happy uh, to have more volunteers. You can find out uh, more about that at crystalspringsgardenpdx.org. Um, and so they meet on Wednesday mornings and work with our staff here to, to keep this place beautiful. And that's what, the, you know, the admissions here, we charge admissions six days a week. Okay. Uh, admissions here go to support the garden, to upkeep and, and, and restoration of the garden, making sure that it's always beautiful and always in tip-top shape for right. our guests. Because it does take, take some maintenance. Oh, yeah. But, you know, rhododendrons in general, you know, you know, speaking of maintenance, what kind of maintenance does a rhododendron take? Yeah, you know, rhodes are really, I like to say they're really forgiving, um, especially yeah. here in the Pacific Northwest. They are, they really, what they really like, most of them is dappled sun. Uh, and, and quick draining soil, acidic soil. Um, so if you've got that on your property, you know, they do take some maintenance, especially depending on how, how you want them to look. If you want to prune them to be a certain shape or style, um, they're very amenable to that. Uh, but they also, like if you're sort of that low maintenance gardener that just wants something beautiful for that spot in your garden, you know, you get that site right and that roadie can kind of take care of itself for the right. most part. Yeah. You know, we've, we've heard some, you know, sometimes they can get, you know, a bug. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Some, they get the, you can get lace bug is probably the most common thing we hear about here. And we get it here at Crystal Springs. Okay. Um, lace bug is something that uh, we basically say, you know, it depends on what kind of gardener you are. If right. you're an organic gardener, you're probably looking at some horticultural oils as your best attempt at a solution. It may not solve the problem, but it'll try to keep it at bay for you. Um, you can do some strategic pruning to try to cut back some of that, right. uh, that lace bug affected leaves. Um, but basically, you know, the other options, of course, if you don't mind chemicals, there are chemical solutions right. that you can utilize and those, you know, readily available on market. Uh, and then, of course, if, if it just won't go away and you just can't stand it, uh, there's always another rhododendron that will ready to step into that spot and, and that is a little more resistant to lace. Right, because there are those resistant varieties that Absolutely. Are, are not affected. And either. always being developed. You know, there's lots of really great stuff out there uh, to look at and see for lace bug resistant. Uh, rhododendrons as well as azaleas, which azaleas, uh, which for those who may not know, all azaleas are rhododendrons. Not all rhododendrons are azaleas. <laughs> yes, which I'm glad you point, pointed that yes. out. Yes, uh, and so azaleas are often the ones that most get that, uh, that lace bug. And so uh, there's lots of really great stuff going out on the market that is really lace bug resistant okay. as well. And you know, so people that are coming out, out to the gardens, you know, a lot of us have been here before and many times they come back all the time because the gardens are changing a lot. But something that's not been out to the gardens, what can they expect to see when they come out here? Oh, beautiful right now, beautiful blooms uh, primarily. But we have got six and a half acres of cultivated garden space here with an additional three acres of interior lagoons, streams, and waterfalls. Uh, we've got, you know, as I said, we've got rhododendrons of all shapes and sizes. You know, it's peak bloom season here for probably the next month or so. Right. It's a great time to visit the garden. The weather's starting to get sunnier and more beautiful. Uh, and so they can expect to see lots of blooms, lots of great companion plants. You know, we have these beautiful maples. Uh, and then, of course, wildlife. A lot of people come here to see, you know, the ducklings and the goslings yes. right about now. We've got bald eagles nesting. Uh, it's not uncommon to see a river otter or a beaver here. 
Um, and so we've got all kinds of things here at Crystal Springs. It's, we like to say it's an urban refuge here in the middle of the city uh, where you can just escape and, and find, your, find your zen, your inner, inner serenity. Yeah. And you guys have a great event going on this weekend. We do. So, I mean, for those who may know, years past we've had the Mother's Day sale and show. Uh, we're still not quite ready to bring that back in person, and so there's no Mother's Day show this year, but the okay. sale will be online uh, through our website, crystalspringsgardenpdx.org. You just go there this weekend. Uh, Mother's Day weekend is when it starts, and we'll just keep selling them until they're gone. Uh, and so get on there. There'll be pictures of all the blooms of, of the types that you could purchase, and most of those will be in nice manageable sizes that you can load up to take home, uh, you know, number one, number two, number three pots. Right. Yeah. That's great. Well, Brandon, I appreciate all the, all the information. So if you're looking for a great outing this weekend or any time throughout, you know, any time the gardens are open. That's true. You know, they're in full bloom now and they're going to last for a while, for another month or so. So make sure you come down to Crystal Springs Rhododendron Garden. You know, get some more information online, you know, through their website. Or you can go to gardentime.tv and find out more information there, too. So, Brandon, the gardens are stunning and we're looking forward to doing a little bit more walking around. Absolutely. So thanks for having yeah. us. Thanks for coming.